Perhaps a better place to belt out Mozart's best is in a setting as grand as his music, Mirabelle Palace. Mirabelle Palace was built in 1606 for Prince Archbishop Reitenau. As you can see, it was clearly a pleasure palace full of mythological figures and beauty. The location he chose was very interesting. It's high above the hill, overlooking the river, but more importantly, away from those busy streets where all the regular people were. Well, to be fair, another story says he built his palace away from the city because he was ill and the air was better up here. Whatever the purpose, the result is beautiful. So beautiful, in fact, that the name Mirabelle has Italian roots, meaning admirable or beautiful. So once again, Salzburg is the Rome of the North. Mirabelle Palace's look has changed over the years, but one thing that hasn't changed is a certain musical tradition held here in the Marble Hall. Mozart played here as a young as a young boy, and that's this influence, this, you can, you can, you can smell Mozart. Whether you prefer to smell or listen to your Mozart, his music is still played in the exact same spot where he performed for Salzburg royalty in the 1700s. What is it like as a musician to get to play in this palace, in this city that is so known for its rich music heritage? It's, it's great. It's an, it's an honor to, to play here in this Mozart city. And the Mozarteum Orchestra carries on the greatness of the boy genius. Mozart, there's a, such a deep feeling in his music. But on the other hand, it's, it's so like children. There, there's the children's joy. It's, it's so easy. You can hear it all the time. You, can, you can't get enough from the music.